Hello guys, let's understand the curse of dimensionality using this example. Is it easy to find my breed of dog here in this line of species of dogs? If I want to find my breed of dog among various other breeds, I would go to every breed of dog and check whether it's mine or not. So, in this scenario, there's only a one dimension and or a line of dogs that we need to traverse. Let's move on to other scenario, a two dimension scenario. Here, in order to find my breed of dog, I want to manage both x and y coordinate of position of my breed of dog. I would go to every x and y coordinates and check whether the dog is mine or not. Now let's move on to the third dimension scenario. Here the task of finding my dog gets little tougher or more tougher than the previous one. Here in order to find my dog I want to go to a particular place. I want I have to manage three dimensions in order to reach my breed of dog. So the task of finding dogs is getting tougher and tougher as the dimension increases. This is the curse of dimensionality. Having features with high number of dimensions will confuse a model to access which variable and what. That's why we need dimensionality reduction. Dimensionality reduction refers to the process of converting a set of data having vast dimensions into data with lesser dimensions ensuring that it conveys similar information concisely. These techniques are typically used while solving machine learning problems to obtain better results or features for a classification or regression task.